Hey, JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue. That's Toledo, Ohio, 4361741931 uh instagram at jc's comics and more and www.jccomicsandmore.com we've got chuck here joe is holding the study cam and let's see what uh, kind of comics we have we've got three boxes we've got two boxes here i've got another box i'm getting in the morning so we're gonna have two boxes we're processing today and then the other one i have to process before i open in the morning a lot of comics as always We'll see how some of these break down. New Captain Marvel from Marvel's coming out. I see Marvel's already going back doing a second printing because, of course, with it just coming out, they know that there's demand on it. Here's the cover A of Web of Venom, Venom Unleashed. I think that's a Nick Bradstreet cover. Again, really dislike... Not having the logos on the covers. I've talked to several people this past week who have agreed with me that it's a really bad idea. Same with stuff like this here. This Vampirilla, that could go, that can go right behind the model there. We've got Star Wars Age of Republic, Django Fett. It's one of the variant covers. There's multiple, multiple covers. This is something interesting here. We've got Brock. Panther versus the Tremendous Trump. This is the Red Triumph, and then there's a blue. So one where Trump wins, one where Barack wins. They keep both sides happy. And of course, this is a takeoff on the Marvel and DC Treasury Edition Hulk versus Batman. Cover B of Curse Words. We've got cover B of Grimm's Fairy Tales that's being set aside for a customer. So we have Uncanny X Men number nine. We've got that right there. And see, so we have Aliens Dust to Dust number four. Again, no logo on that book whatsoever. Dark Horse is a bit smarter than that. So I thought Mike Richardson was smarter than that. Cover A of Faith. That's the only copy I ordered. We got the cover B of Rose. We got some other covers ordered on those. We got Domino number 10. I'm not sure this is almost the last issue and then they're going to start it over with a new mini series or something or other. Yeah, issue 11 is going to be the last issue. Also, we do have this week the first issue of Young Justice comes out from DC's Wonder Comics line. And this is a variant cover, Wonder Girl. This is the seventh cover. So that would be like, what, cover G, something like that. Yes, they felt they had to make that many covers. Tom Clancy's The Division from Dark Horse. Here we've got Grimm's Fairy Tales cover C. We got two copies. One will be set aside for a customer. You got True Believers. This reprints Conan number 17. These are a buck. Great price. Got new issue of Thor, Thor number nine. And again, this artwork makes me, I'm a big Thor fan, but. I could care less about this artwork. To me, it's boring, it's dull, it lacks life. If I was in charge of Marvel, one of the first things I'd do is be fire this guy. A 
Got God of War. We look at the artwork on this issue. This would be a much more superior Thor artist. I'd love to see this guy drawing Thor. Right there's your Thor artist. Django Fett, this is the concept design variant. Here's the 1 in 10 Joe Jusco Vampirella Dejathoris variant. Here's the 1 in 10 Turok number 1 from Dynamite variant. Let's see, we have issue number 57 of Harley Quinn. I just might have to reorder some copies. That may be a hot book. Maybe. I'm not sure if it's inadvertently a tie-in to Heroes in Crisis. Here we have Hack Slash versus Chaos. I've got one copy set aside for a customer. I try not to uh, support them any more than I absolutely have to. We've got Nightwing number 56. The Return of Rick Grayson. He was never truly gone, but uh, he's, I think, embracing his, who he is. We've got the Bitterroot, cover A. We've got Aliens, this is Alien 3. This is cover B on this. This is the, uh, the William Gibson original screenplay. Final issue of Batman Kings of Fear by Kelly Jones. At one point, probably would have sold a lot of copies of that. Here's a variant edition of Captain Marvel. Let's see, it has the Huntress here. And uh, I think this might be a 1 in 10 variant. Did not order very many of those. Got the Conan, Marvel versus. So you've got Conan in Hell versus Hella. Someone will be getting a short end of that stick. Cover D of Red Sonia. This is the final issue of the series because, again, they have to reboot that series as well. This is cover six for Young Justice with Superboy. Cover six would be what? Cover F, cover E, something like that. So we've got two covers so far. Green Lantern number three. Issue number three takes on God. Who does he think he is? Jesse Custard. Vader Sim, the subscription copy. Let's see another copy of Bitter Root. This is cover D. Not buying very many of those. It's first issue sold okay, not great. A lot of speculators bought it and then they jump ship, of course. Cover A of The Last Siege. We've got Auntie Agatha's home for Wayward Rabbits. I've got a copy set aside for a customer. I need to order another copy for another customer. Here is cover B of The Last Siege. So I've got both copies of that. Got Grimm's Fairy Tales. This is cover D. Again, set aside for a customer. <clears throat> Van Helsing, Sword of Heaven, issue three, cover D. Again, I've got a customer that's set aside for. Michael Bendis is United States versus Murder Incorporated. Going to have somebody happy that that came in. The new issue of Carson of Venus that came out. That is the cover B on that, and that's being held for somebody. The final issue of Hit Girl, 
with Rome before they started back up, issue number 12. That is the cover A. We've got Stargate, Atlantis. <clears throat> I've got two copies. I've got two guys that get those, so those are going to be set aside. Here we have Adventures of the Super Sons, issue number 6. This is a 12-issue Maxi series. And uh, make sure we set those aside. First issue of Barbarella in Dejathoris. So you get two different Dejathoris miniseries drawn at the same time. Here we have Marvel's Epic Collection, Ms. Marvel. That's Ms. Marvel as we know and love her. And I'm not sure if this is this is missing pages or not. This is $34.99. That's awfully expensive for something so small. Looks like it reprints Ms. Marvel 1 through 14. You've got Marvel Team Up 61, 62, and Defenders number 57, where she showed up in there as well. But again, $34.99. That's, that's a bit pricey. Man Without Fear. This is issue number two. This is a connecting cover. This is a five issue weekly series. Trying to reboot Daredevil. Here we've got Unbeatable Squirrel Girl number 40. I just sell just a couple copies of that. Here's the cover A on Young Justice from Wonder Comics, written by Bendis. Art by uh, Gleason. So at least I know the artwork is going to be top notch. You've got impulses back, so I'm not sure if this is in regular DC continuity or not. Cover D of Vampirilla and Dejah Thoris. Here is the movie variant cover on Captain Marvel number one. I think those are maybe our one in tens. Cover A's to the Black Order number three. We've got Bitter Root. This is cover C. This is Larry Strowman. Larry Strowman did uh, X Factor for quite a while and did a book called Tribes also for Image. We've got Kick Ass. I believe this is cover C issue. Oh, this is Kick Ass. So we got Kick Ass and Hit Girl coming out this week. But that's the uh, cover A on Kick Ass. We've got Batman, Archie Meets Batman 66. Cover E, this is the only copy I have. I've got one customer buying all the covers, so it gets out of the size for him. House of Muck. We've got the new issue of that. Friendly Neighborhood Spider Man number one, Joe Jusco. This is a variant edition based on Steve Ditko. Hard to go wrong with uh, Joe Jusco. That guy is a, a pro. Cover A of Deathstroke, the Asylum storyline. Dr. Hugo Strange, he's going to be showing up in Batman soon. Here we have Star Wars number 59. Uh, this logo should be at the top, but this is Greatest Moment Variant, 1 of 36, Duel of the Fates. So now they're doing the Greatest Moments Variant. Something to be done to help keep their sales up on the books, since we have to jump through hoops to, to uh, get those comics. Here we have the... Ah, uh, this appears to be the cover A on the Web of Venom, Venom Unleashed with the, the Venom Dog. And the other one must have been cover B. Yes, the uh, Stan Lee uh, 
Memorial at the top is on the cover B and not the cover A. They've always been on the cover A, so it's strange that they put that on the on that cover. I got another copy of House of Muck as cover A. Make sure that gets set aside for a customer. Here is the variant cover on Man Without Fear number two. It's a one in twenty-five variant. I'll have one in twenty-fives coming for issue three. Then issue four, I've cut my orders back to where I'm no longer ordering twenty-five. Uh, it's not selling well enough for me to justify ordering 25. Cover A of Aliens Dust to Dust. Make sure a copy of each of those gets set aside one for one of my poll customers. And the same guy who gets it came out on the Wednesday is getting those aliens. Uh, also, he's getting the Archie and Batman 66. Curse Words, cover C. Here is the cover B's of Deathstroke, the Deathstroke uh, Asylum. It's a Dave Johnson cover. Dave Johnson's one hell of an artist. I wish he would do stuff on a regular basis. Red Sonja number 25, this is cover C. Tom Mandrake cover. I wish Tom would start doing stuff again once, once more. He no longer does uh, anything. On Kenny X Men number nine, this is the action figure variant. Life is Strange from Titan. This is the cover C on that. We've got Bully Wars cover B. Got Grimm's Fairy Tales cover E. This is issue 25. They came out with lots and lots of covers. Archie meets his uh, Batman 66. This is cover F. Archie and uh, Catwoman getting ready to get it on. And Betty and Veronica are mad because they can't watch. Moth and Whisperer from Aftershock. I've got one customer that buys that, so it gets set aside for him. We've got more variant covers on Django Fett from Star Wars Age of Republic. We've got the... Cosplay cover, another cosplay cover. This is Dejathoris to the Vampirella Dejathoris. Again, the logo should be at the top here. Got Patience, Conviction, Revenge from Aftershock. Make sure one of those copies gets set aside for one of my regulars. He's got one of the last issues of Curse of Brimstone. This is issue number 10. There is the Black Order. This is the cover A on Black Order, issue number three. Got one of the Novas in it. And I've got just a few more comics in this box. Again, we talked about how the Barbarella and Deeds of Thorst is coming out. This is cover C. Bitter Root, this is probably cover B. That rose, this is what cover C. Cover C on rose, make sure a copy of that gets set aside for a customer. And we got Alien 3, this is cover A on Alien 3, that's the Wayne Gibson uh, screenplay. And make sure I set aside a cover B for the same customer that gets a lot of that stuff. Looks like the last thing in this box is the Art Germ covers to Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number one, which these will be at cover price. Again, you could have pulled this down. Logo could be up there. But that's it for this box. If you do like these videos, certainly subscribe. And when you do subscribe, be sure to smash the bell for notifications. And I wish that they would let us know this is what the artwork looked like in this book. Most of the artwork we saw was really horrible. I think it was the cover on the, the first cover, but really bad. I may have ordered uh, a few more copies. Other than that, thanks again.